This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Rahul and today's topic is iframe tracking with Google Tag Manager. This is going to be very simple or is it? The topics that we are going to cover today are what is an iframe, how to track iframe with Google Tag Manager, sending data to Google Analytics 4 and testing the implementation. So our first topic is iframe. What is an iframe? An iframe or an inline frame is an HTML element that loads another HTML page within the document. It essentially puts another web page within the parent page. iframe is basically an HTML tag or an HTML element that represents nesting browsing content embedding another HTML page into the current one. In simple words, a website inside another website or a web page inside another web page. For example, a car inside another car or a house inside another house. So why is tracking iframe in Google Tag Manager challenging? There are a couple of reasons. First, cross domain restrictions. So if the iframe content is hosted on different domains from parent page, browser security policies often prevent direct access to the iframe's content. Second, limited access to DOM. Even if iframe content is on the same domain, access to its document object model, that is our DOM, is restricted due to same origin policy. Third party scripts. If the iframe contains third party content like a widget or an embedded video like your Canonly form, the content provider may restrict or limits on tracking interaction within the iframe. Dynamic content. If the iframe content is dynamically generated or changes frequently, tracking interactions within the iframe may require more complex solution in Google Tag Manager to ensure accurate tracking. But no worries. We will show you how to track iframe in Google Tag Manager. So this is my website that we'll be working on today. If I scroll down, then here is my iframe. You can identify an iframe by right clicking on it. And you can see that we get options like reload iframe or we get options like view frame source, which specifically gives us the frame source for the iframe. This is it. And if I want to open this, so there is a separate URL for an iframe. That is why it is also called a website inside another website. So this is my iframe URL. This is what iframe looks like. So what you need to do is you need to ask your developer to add GTM code on your iframe. For example, uh, this is my iframe. And if I go to page view source, then you can see that I have already installed a different Google Tag Manager in the head section and a different and uh, another one inside body tag. So uh, this is the GTM for iframe and this is the GTM for the parent page. Let me show you how this helps. So what I've done, I have created two HTML tags in my iframe. Let's uh, see them one by one. So the first one is a custom HTML tag. What this will do is this will just give us a text message on our console which says a button is clicked. You can see that I have a I have created a button in my iframe which says click me. So let's test it out. And the other one is the post message sender. Uh, any any of you who don't know what post message is, so post message is a is a JavaScript function. According to the official documentation, uh, you can read it out. Post message method is uh, safely enables cross origin communication between Windows object example between a page and a pop up that is spawn and between a page and iframe embedded within it. So this is exactly what we are looking for. So post message is something that exactly matches our requirement. So if I go to preview and go to my iframe. opens let's open console as well yeah so if I click on click me button this is an alert that I've created you can click on ok so you can see that we are getting a text which says button clicked that I've created and if I go to this click trigger 
I can see that my custom HTML tag is fired along with it a post message sender is also fired which I have created let me show you this so this is a post message sender code which gives me a specific event which is iframe button click with the click text that I have clicked this uh, what this basically does is this sends this message from iframe to my parent website so this is the parent website link you can uh, go to this documentation and you can scroll down you can see the syntax and if you don't want to code it yourself so I have already created the code for you this is my github and you can see this is message for listener and sender so the sender is something that you need to do from your iframe basically your iframe will send a message to the parent page that is why we have post message sender for this and in your main HTML that is uh, sorry in your main Google tag manager that is your parent website you have the event you have the tag for post message listener so iframe will send a message and parent frame will listen to that message so that is why two different tags for two different websites so let's start with this as well go to preview and opens my home page where my iframe is present similarly for test iframe as well So regarding the implementation in the parent page you can see that uh, I haven't created much of the tags it's just one tag that I have done which is a post message listener which I've already created for you in my github you can just click on this and can copy the code from here what you need to change over here is almost nothing you just have to make some changes in the iframe gtm that is you have to add the specific event name that you want you want to pass you have to pass the parameters and you have to pass the parent website url okay so let's test it out how it works this is my iframe when i click click me i get an alert and if I go to tag assistant I can see that my post message sender event is fired similarly if I go to my home page okay so this is my iframe and uh, one, uh, one another way to check this another way to check this is you can see that uh, this tag assistant this this is for the parent page and we have another one which is for the iframe this one so we have two over here this shows that Google Tag Manager is installed on parent page as well as on your iframe as well so if I click on click me here it gives similar alert which my iframe gives and if I see console we have button clicked sorry we have button clicked so tag assistant got an event you can see we got the data layer push from our iframe which is exactly the one we want event name and the click which was click text here this was click text so you can pass anything that is relevant to your business or your analytic strategy like page url or any specific for say form name or the name of the person who is filling the form say first name or an email address or anything like that that uh, is necessary for your business for me it was click text so I passed click text over here that you can do now what we will do is we have this event over here and then we can track it using since we have the event over here we can create a new event if you want to pass this value to your GA4 
you can click on new tag go to ga4 create a new event event name is iframe button click i'll be keeping the same so i'll create a custom event and pass this iframe button click save this trigger apply it over here and let's test this so uh, this basically will pass our event to ga4 you can add parameters if you want like i have passed parameters like click text or any specific thing that you want like sometimes people want uh, they have multiple iframes on multiple pages or a similar iframe on multiple pages so they want it they want to know from which specific page is uh, that iframe clicked or if there is a form in uh, place of iframe so you can do such things Let's click save and test it. I've written some uh, random G4 measurement ID as I do not have a G4 property for this test account, but uh, you have to enter the measurement ID from your G4 property. Coming here, let's click on iframe button. Click me, we have button click. And if I go to the event that we have created, the data layer push, so we can see that our tag fired. This is the event name, and our trigger was OK. So what this will do is this will pass the values from your event to GA4. You can give multiple parameters over here according to your business need. This is how it is done. And further, if you want to check that your event is getting passed properly with the parameters that you have created, you can go to GA4 debug view. We have already covered this in our videos. You can check a lot of videos in our channel. This was it for the video. Do let us know if you have any queries or questions regarding the topic. Give us a comment down below. If you are new to this channel, give us a subscribe and please like the video. Thank you. May the force be with you.